Texas got a 400 on one, you couldn't pass. So you got to pass every individual test as well by at least a 420 in mm -hmm. Kansas. Now some states are 410 and they're talking about maybe changing it in Kansas to 410. But uh, some states are already at 410. Kansas chose to go higher years ago when they had the choice. And so 420 is what you have to have. Nothing lower, but you can get, you could actually get a couple of 420s. I had a guy come the other day, which we don't want him to do, but you can get a couple of 420s. That just means that right now you're 60 points below the average. You just need to get 60 points above the average over these last three. That's just 20 each one. Four, so you, 60, you, 470, 470, 470, 470, and 470. 470. Mm -hmm. And when you added them together, you'd have the 2250 divided by five, you'd have the 450 and nothing lower than 420. So you could do that. Now when the GED was more just geared toward getting that high school diploma and, and that's it, a lot of times we would encourage people if they had a high reading score like you did to just go and take that reading science social studies test because a lot of times they could score five, six hundred on the reading science social studies, then all they had to do was just pass. So I could go take mine now, Miss Harris? You may be able to, but you're not going to until we finish algebra and geometry. Oh. <laughs> because, as I said, if that's all you want, then that's all right, but we need to get you ready to go beyond. And when you go beyond, you're going to have to take a math test for entrance tests into whatever so next saying, program, and so we want to make sure you're prepared. So you're saying if we if we needed to, if we wanted, I'm not saying maybe I'm wrong. So you're saying if we wanted to, if we needed to, we could do the reading part and pass it, and then focus on the math part and pass that, or do you have to pass it all like in the same week or something? No, you don't pass it all the same week. You have up to six months. Once you take the first official practice test, you have six months from that date to finish all six. All right. Oh, that's fine. Mm -hmm. So you take like. A Three months on this one. I want to do the math first. Three months on the brain. Right. You, you can take a year. You can have six months to do it. Mm -hmm. Typically, uh, yeah, I need to do people it just wait and do it at the same time. Do you don't sections. do it on the same day, but do it around the same time because you don't want to. Uh, pass one that we can pass first. And then but if it takes longer than six months to pass the other ones, then you lose those first scores and have to retest. They only the scores only last for six months. Well, I'm trying to pass. So that's why we try right. to get we make it closer to the time that you're ready to take the reading. I mean the writing and the math, so that you're sure that the other score. Because once you can pass it, you're not going to lose it. Yeah. You know, I mean, people when I like Deborah came in with a 12-9 in reading, we didn't teach her that, so she should still have a 12-9 when it's time to test. So there's no sense in just rushing and test because you're not going to lose that. You still don't have to concentrate on anything but the math or whatever other thing you need. But for a lot of times we would do it just for motivation. And, mm -hmm. you know, at some time, you know, because people would say, well, I pass these, then I can pass the other ones. And so it kind of motivates them to continue or whatever. Well, it's easier. You don't have to focus on the whole thing. You can just well, you don't usually math. anyway at one time. You usually only focus on one subject at a time. But, yeah, but you're right. You can get it out of the way mm -hmm. if you want to think of it that way. But, for instance, if you had taken it when you first started, those scores would probably be expired and you'd have to retake it. It's not so bad when you're in the program because you don't pay. The people that just come to just take the test would have to pay that $40 every time they came and it expired, so that can get to be pretty expensive. So, Okay, so the mean or the average. Sometimes they'll ask you for the average. Sometimes they'll say mean. It means the same thing, okay? And just remember that they don't always just ask you to find the average. Sometimes they will give you the average and ask you to find the total or ask you to find the mean. That's for the mean. The mean and the average. Okay? Another statistical point that is used to analyze numbers is the mode. Frequently occurring number. The mode is the most frequently occurring number. No, she's in the book. I'm in the book. Okay. So if they gave you a list of numbers, and they ask you what is the mode in that list, Three. It would be three because three occurs twice. So you see, these are simple if you know what they are because all you have to do is count. But if they ask you what's the mode and you've never heard of mode, you can't just figure it out. 
So the mode is the most frequently occurring number. So we have the mean, the mode, the three M's, the median. The median. Now the median is the middle number. So you have to find a way to remember the difference between them. Now mean and average, typically people already know that, so it's not a problem. It's between mode and median. I'll tell you, rarely do they ask for the mode, although they can, but they will ask for the median quite a bit. If they ask for the median, uh, the way I remembered between mean and median is that median had a D, so that was the middle. I'm thinking like it's the middle, it's the, uh, this word that I just have in my head, it done went out. <laughs> well, median, um, mid, what? Uh, I forgot. Well, whatever it is, if it works for you, then that's what you mm -hmm. use, but you're going to have to figure out a way because there's no, you know, you can't explain why it is, it's just that it is. Yeah. And so if they ask for that, first thing you have to do is to number them vertically from low to high or high to low. You have to get them in order. I forgot to do the, what to do if there's no middle number and you have to circle the two. That's what we're doing now. All right, cool. Okay, you line them up. You count how many you have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight which means there's four above and four under. Mm -hmm. So there is no middle, right? Mm -hmm. You take the two in the middle, add them together, and divide by two. So three and a half would be the median of that. If I didn't have this number, then you would have a middle number, three above and three under, and three would be the median. Okay. So it's easy. All you have to do is line them up from low to high. Doesn't matter if you start with high or start with low as long as you have them in order. Once you have them in order, then you count how many numbers you have. If it's an even number, you're not going to have a middle. So you're going to have to take the two in the middle, add them together, and divide by two, and that's your median. Take the two in the middle, divide by two. Add them together first. Yeah. And that will be your median. So with average, mean, what do you do to find the average or the mean? Um to find the average of a group of numbers or the mean of a group of numbers, what do you do? Add them up and divide them by the you're adding. Okay, yeah. add them all up and divide by the number of digits that you added. Okay, the mode is the what? Most, frequent. Most frequently occurring number and the median? The middle number. The middle number. If you have an even number of numbers, how do you find the middle number? Add it up and divide by two. Add what up? Two numbers in the middle. Two middle. Divide by two. Two months in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> and the only other one is range. The range wants to know over what ratio range the numbers reach. They reach all the way from one to nine, you see. The range. That's range. Looking for range. Range tells you it is the space between. It is the number. Um, you want to know how far. It goes. Let's see what do they have range here. So you subtract. So the range is eight. So it goes from one to nine, right? From where it begins and ends. We should have range in here somewhere. It's not on there. I'm going to have to see if we have it on seventeen. But again, you rarely ask for that, but the range just means from the smallest to the largest. Just subtract to see what the range is. Oh, okay. So, so uh, and they don't even talk about the largest. range. Did they ask for that, too? Range and subtract. Well, it's not on range. here, but I know that I know that range is one of the points that they ask. They could ask you that, yes. So it'd be one. I thought it was in here. I know that I can.
part of the so it's just a smaller thing that they can It's just a, yeah. Easily. That you subtract? Okay. Just subtract the two. Right. It's just really asking how many numbers are between the, the beginning and end. So you just subtract. So you add them all up and subtract two? No, for the range is just between one and nine. So, so nine minus eight. One. Yeah, so the range is eight. Okay. There are eight numbers. There's a, what, what's the spread is what they're asking. Okay. It goes from one to nine. So you have a spread of eight. Okay. Well, I'm just surprised they don't have So on this, uh, was you looking for something? Well, I was looking to see if they had range, but they don't ask for range. I'm just very surprised that they don't. So they may not ask for it on the test either, but it's just good that you know. So I, I have a question. <laughs> okay. On number 10 on this, on exercise on 11. What page? On um, 218. 219. 219, number 10. Which range had the most scores? From over here. Well, did you read the directions? And you're asking that. That's, that's another thing that people don't do. At the bottom. Is read those directions carefully. You can't answer number ten, and I would say, what do they mean? What range? Because I know they had to tell me someplace. It tells you use the table below to answer <laughs> problems. They can do. <laughs> no. Okay. Uh, no, I'm, I'm serious. That I'm glad it came up because that happens all the time. It Again, people no, just that's people that's just want yeah. to people want to rush to the numbers and the problems, oh, and they don't read the directions. And that is so important. So I guess I'm glad it came up because I typically.